Well, a very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Candy Talk here on Haman Nanyora's YouTube channel. Remember, this is Kenya's most comprehensive political and public governance analysis show. And I'm always glad to bring you up to date with comprehensive analysis of all that is taking place in this country and across our borders. This fine afternoon, I'm here with Professor Haman Manyora. How are you, sir? Good. Mm. Very good, actually. Okay. Yes. Things are boiling nicely. I can see... The right passing. temperature. Mm -hmm. The right temperature. Correct. Mm. The onslaught against the deputy president, Rigathi Gashagwa, has been sustained by the Kimani Shungwa led group. Yes. While the other side are also saying that they'll not actually bow down to the pressure of Rigathi Gashagwa. Let's have this conversation here. I'm seeing some sort of a struggle pitting Rigathi Gashagwa's camp vis-a-vis, -vis, of course, versus uh, Kimani Shungwa's camp. And some people would actually wonder, in the first place, do you think Kimani Shungwa is a match for the deputy president? Of course. How? Mm -hmm. You can't talk. You can't put Kimani Shungu and uh, Rigadi Gashago in the same sentence and say you are talking about a match. No, mm. they are not. They are not equals. Mm. One is a member of parliament, another is a deputy president. Okay. Yeah. But here, the member of parliament, he is uh, the leader of majority in the national assembly, and he's decided to take the bull by its horns. Leader horns. of majority is, <laughs> is not in the same league as the deputy president. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I think me. even if we live at that level, I don't think they are the same. So you but even politically speaking, uh -huh. I don't think they are the same. Totally different? Uh, to you? No. is in the skies and Gashagwa and Shungwa is down here. Hmm. Hmm. Now, the you know, these things are not even difficult. You know, uh -huh. people make simple things look difficult. I come from Western. Mm -hmm. There are many people who would want us to believe they are they are powerful. Mm -hmm. Let them go to Buhunga and call a meeting. Mm -hmm. There will just be boys there playing small little ball. There will be nobody there. Okay. Someone like a troll calls and the stadium is full. Mm -hmm. So let us, you know, there are certain things that are obvious. Mm -hmm. If Mdabadi passes somewhere, people in Western will know Mdabadi has passed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will say Mdabadi, but the other people will just pass. Mm -hmm. So likewise in Mount Kenya region, Gashiagwa is way ahead of people like Ishungwa. Okay. Nobody will notice Ishungwa. Mm -hmm. If Ishungwa went to Rurimu Nyeri and uh, called for a meeting, mm -hmm. and it is mobilized by the state, mm -hmm. who will attend? Even Kiambu here now, since I want to call people of Kiambu in Kirigiti Stadium, may, no, people may not go there. So, so but trying. if people here, Gashiagwa is there, he's not, Gashiagwa does not need to call people mm -hmm. to Kirigiti Stadium, Kiambu. Mm -hmm. People need just to hear his and the, the stadium will be full. Okay. You know, this, these things are easy. Mm -hmm. when, when I like Fred Guma, by the way, I met him recently after many years. Okay. You know Mudavadi, Ruto, Nyaga, uh, Balala, mm -hmm. Ruto I mentioned, mm -hmm. and Raila were competing for Pentagon leadership. Mm -hmm. ODM presidential flag bearer, 207. Gumo told them, oh, please don't waste our time. Mm -hmm. You know it is with Raila. Why are you wasting our time? Mm -hmm. So, likewise, uh -huh. Gashago is the only man who can traverse Mount Kenya today, mm -hmm. other than Uhuru Kenyatta. Okay. It's only Uhuru Kenyatta and Gashago who can go anywhere in Mount Kenya and attract a huge crowd. Mm. Yeah. Kumani Shungwa may attract a few fellows around Kikuyu here. Okay. And then let's get into what Kimani Shungwa is saying. He is mm. actually dismissing everything that uh, the deputy president is advocating for. And he's claiming that he's a divisive figure, uh, one who is actually after his own self, uh, selfish interest, so to say. Uh, what, what do you make of those sentiments by the, 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 the leader of the National Assembly? Yeah, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What I've heard people say is that since Gashagwa is talking, trying to bring the people of Mount Kenya and mm -hmm. talking about their interests, mm -hmm. then he's being divisive. I don't know. Is that, is that really true? Okay. No, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Politics is always uh, local, mm. like we have been told. Mm. So what they are saying, I don't understand. Okay. Yeah. If Gashagwa stood and say, Luos in this country must be dealt with, mm -hmm. or the Kalenjin people, blah, 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 mm -hmm. we the Kikuyu, that is divisive. Mm -hmm. But if he's just talking to his own people, mm -hmm. just talking Gekoyo in... To, to Gekoyo speaking people, to Gekoyo people. Mm -hmm. Now, wh wh what is divisive about that? Okay. What is divisive about that? Mm -hmm. Why well, Ishungu himself talks to his people in the Kikuyu constituency. Mm -hmm. To the extent that he works for the Kikuyu people and speaks for them, then he's divisive. Mm -hmm. you, don't become, you don't become divisive because you talk for the Turkana people. Mm -hmm. No. 
Okay. When Nanok was fighting for the rights of the Turkana people, uh, as far as the oil exploration was concerned, mm -hmm. he was not being divisive. He was just doing what he's supposed to do as a leader of the Turkana people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could it be true that uh, the deputy president is maybe trying to rally behind uh, people behind him, especially people from the uh, central Kenya region, to maybe blackmail the president, as Ishungwa puts it? If it is political blackmail, that's mm -hmm. acceptable. That's how it is. That's how the game is played. Okay. That's why you fight so hard to have numbers in parliament, mm -hmm. even when you are not going to win the presidency. Why? Mm -hmm. What is happening in South Africa today? That's how politics is played. Mm. I make sure my, I consolidate my number so that when you are on the, on the table, mm -hmm. you can't start without me coming there. Okay. Say, Manyora Kwapi. You kitten here, Manyora Because I'm bringing my numbers. Mm -hmm. And this is what people have been telling people like Mdabadi. Mm -hmm. Bring numbers to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Then when you talk, people will listen. Okay. Don't work with three MPs. Hmm. People think they are your bodyguards. Come they are MPs. Hmm. No. Bring numbers. So that's how politics is played. You can see now in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You may not necessarily become the president, but you bring numbers. You go with your numbers. You have parliamentary strength. Mm -hmm. Somebody, people will listen to you. Come on, Agawa Kitu, and Asama Kitu, you have Higa, Mm -hmm. That's how politics is played. Mm -hmm. If that's what you are calling blackmail, then it's okay. okay. Yeah. But if it is blackmail negative mm -hmm. to try to make it impossible mm -hmm. for the president to run the country, then I, that, that would be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Here we are. Um, Kimani Shungwa is so determined uh, at actually keeping the deputy president's influence at bay. And we even had that kind of, uh, you say, the conduct of the deputy president for the first time was actually uh, discussed in the National Assembly without any substantive motion. Therefore, and uh, certain people also believe, especially those allied to uh, the deputy president, that that was wrong, actually. And I saw uh, the uh, Senator Gerard Gay saying that uh, Kimani Shungo is now not even fit to lead uh, the National Assembly as a leader of majority, turning him now divisive as well. That, control, that, 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 that contravention, mm -hmm. how the Speaker could allow that to happen, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it. I've heard people say, if the Speaker could allow people to discuss the person of the Deputy President without bringing a substantive motion, mm -hmm. that is grossly wrong. And there's a reason why we have done that. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why Parliament doesn't discuss people without bringing a substantive motion. Okay. Otherwise, you'll turn parliament into an, a rumor-mongering meal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people just discuss rumors, you know, mm -hmm. witch hunting, you know, those kind of things. You can't turn a, such a national institution mm -hmm. into a place where you process rumors and other things and propel witch hunt. No. Mm -hmm. That's why it is there. Mm -hmm. That if you feel strongly that you want to discuss the deputy president mm -hmm. or anybody else for that matter, mm -hmm. bring a substantive motion. Mm -hmm. Then you are allowed because they will have looked at it. Then say, go ahead, say what you want to say about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, is, is Kimani Shungu actually exercising his right of freedom of speech or is he showing No, no, no. Sort of as far as attack? parliament is concerned, he's wrong. Uh -huh. And he's the leader of majority. I don't know, I've heard, I've seen on social media. Mm -hmm. If we went to parliament to discuss the conduct of the uh, deputy president, mm -hmm. It is disrespectful, first of all. Okay. Because until such a time, Rigadi Gashagwa is not the deputy president of the Republic of mm -hmm. Kenya, mm -hmm. the deputy party leader of UDA, mm -hmm. Kimani Ishunga, just as a matter of decency, owes it to everybody, especially the party and even himself, mm -hmm. to respect the deputy president. Okay. It's simple like that. Mm -hmm. And as far as conduct of the National Assembly is concerned. If you discuss the Deputy President without a substantive motion, mm -hmm. that is grossly wrong and it's a violation of their own standing orders. Mm -hmm. And those standing orders are what we want as Kenyans okay. for the orderly conduct of the business of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but he is also saying that if at all, whatever you people call respect amounts to having or rather rallying rally behind one particular leader in the name of uh, uh, King P or other uh, personalities, then that is not for, hit, uh, for him. That is what he says. But that's a contradiction on the part of Fishunga. You know, these people, they just talk. Mm. But you are saying you can't rally behind an individual called Rigadi Gashaga, but you want to rally behind an individual called William Ruto. So what, what, you, see, you see, the contradiction is right clear. Hmm. Yeah.
The deputy president spoke. So and let's let's not rally behind an individual. That individual, <laughs> let's rally behind an individual. That individual, William Ruto. Let's let's, let's, let's now have this conversation <laughs> now. Specifically, talk about the deputy president. If here. he wants to be a boss himself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why can't he stand up? Okay. I say neither Ruto mm -hmm. nor Gashagwa. I am the man of the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm the man in the arena. Bring it on. Okay. Welcome, the Kamani Shumba. Join the ring. Mm -hmm. You find the Ruto there. Find the Gashagwa there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fold your sleeves. Let's see how you go. Okay. Yeah. Kashagwa says he's listening to the ground. That's how a man behaves. Uh -huh. If you are a man, mm -hmm. that's how you should behave. Kashagwa not to tell uh -huh. people, let's not kneel before a man. Then you go and kneel before another man. Mm -hmm. No, that, that is, I'm not saying they kneel before anybody. Uh -huh. This is just a man of speaking. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Kashagwa says he's listening to the ground. And he's <laughs> telling off the likes of uh, Kimani and Shungwa that these people are already well fed. And it's like they're vomiting. They, they should respect the people who actually put them in those places. What do you make of uh, the deputy president? Is he trying to actually endear himself now more obvious, to the people? Obvious, by obvious. Saying mm -hmm. And you know, the, the problem with the politicians, mm -hmm. I want to refer, and I've done so in the past, mm -hmm. I want to refer people to what good luck Jonathan said when he lost the election, but more particularly mm -hmm. to what, is it Muhammad or Buhama, mm -hmm. Ghanaian president who lost when he went for uh, the second term? Mm -hmm. Muhammad, John Muhammad or something, I forgot these fellows. That thing is again doing the rounds on social media. Mm -hmm. I want people like Ishungwa to get it and go through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it appears that when you are in power, you lose the you lose the power to see hmm. things even with children are seeing you don't see. What did they? I am sure and I've said about Uru Kenyatta, Uru Kenyatta, uh -huh. and Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. They didn't see things we were seeing, mm -hmm. seeing and even telling them. People told them they, we see, but when you are in power, mm -hmm. that trap, the dictator's trap. You only see the world through the window that has been opened for you, mm -hmm. and that's the world to you. There's no other world. And that's why people, when they're in power, they make such a blunders. When they're out of power, they can't believe it. So that's where Kimani Shunga is. They are making this... Sim they think they are dealing with Gashagwa and they are building him. Every word that comes from Ishungwa's mouth builds Gashagwa. And I've told them, by December of this year, Mount Kenya will be Gashagwa and Gashagwa will be Mount Kenya. You go to any part of Mount Kenya, and say something bad against Gashagwa. I'm seeing Nani's join that bandwagon. And I want to advise him. If there's anybody who listens, who? tell them. Because I, when you are interior minister, you, who is you have no time for oh, anything. Okay. What is his name? <laughs> Kibira Kindiki. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's joined that. He's joined that. He will destroy himself because he has a future. Kimani Shungwa, Dili Nyoro, Kidure Kindiki. These fellows have a future. In the politics of this country, in the leadership of this country. Mm -hmm. And Kimani Ishungwa is a very polished young man mm -hmm. with a future in politics. Okay. Didi Nyoro is a, top of the game. He, he has a future. He'll go places. Mm -hmm. Kiduke Kindiri. Kiture Kindiki. Kiture Kindiki. Uh -huh. He's a guy who should have been deputy. We all know it. Nobody, it's, it's not a secret. Mm -hmm. Okay? He has a big future. Why is he joining praise singers and sycophants? Mm -hmm. Why does Kidure Kindiki want to spoil his name? Mm -hmm. He has a good name in this country. Mm -hmm. Attacking Gashagwa is a minus on your part if you come from Mount Kenya. Stop mm -hmm. it. It's simple. Mm -hmm. Small little power makes people unable to see simple things. Okay. Little power. He, I always say, what is being a minister mm -hmm. in a poor, dirty third world country? A minister is a very tiny thing in this country. This is what are you? What power is there? Small powers with small, small vehicles. Pay, 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 jo, 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 jo. That is rubbish. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. So why do you allow small power to spoil your head and you know go to your head and spoil your name? Mm -hmm. You know, make your future less certain than it was in mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. Why? So I want to advise. Kidure Kindiki, do not join the likes of Moses Kuri and Kimanishu. They are on a slope going down. 
they will never climb back because mm-hmm. that slope is so slippery. You just said this, Once you go down, you can't. Uh-huh. Forget about even Sisyphus because Sisyphus would get around here. Mm-hmm. You, you not climb up to here, mm-hmm. and the mountain is here. That's where they, they are already here now. Mm-hmm. They, we can salvage them, mm-hmm. but if they reach here, which is the bottom, they will never go back. Okay. And I'm advising them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unless it's a design. It could be a design. It, they could have sat down and said, this, we want to make sure Gashagwa becomes president. Mm-hmm. So let's appear to be beating him. Mm-hmm. Then he'll go up. If that's the point, if that's the game, fine, I agree. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. But, but you're saying they're headed nowhere with this kind of uh, onslaught where, attacks against where the Where would president. you be going? Where would you ah. be going? Hmm. Where would you be going? What do you make of uh, Farouk Kibet's assertions that uh, he's actually seeing uh, uh, Kimani Shungwa as some sort of a national leader but in the re- What have region. I said here? What <laughs> have I said? A few minutes ago. What did I say? But that is what no, you said. No, a few minutes ago. What you did I said say? he has a bright future. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kimani saying, Shungwa he, has a promising future, but he's only missing it. <laughs> but you've also said he's going down. Yeah, he's saying. going down because he's <laughs> missing it. Okay. But there's time to salvage his name. <laughs> you do not support people <laughs> by being sycophantic, <laughs> by turning yourself into a cheerleader a praise singer. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you them a secret, a small secret. Mm-hmm. This secret is directed to Kizure Kendiki, Kimani Shungwa, and, and the rest of those people. Mm-hmm. A small secret. It's, it's a very small, a small secret. But before I tell them, mm-hmm. let me tell them what they are doing reminds Kenyans of my, our age, of Kariuki Chotara, mm-hmm. Okiki Amayo. Sharif Nasir, mm-hmm. lay teach in Nakuru, mm-hmm. and a few other people. You get it? It reminds us. Imagine uh, in today's age, with you, all your education, you are being people, you are reminding people of Kariuki Chotara. Mm-hmm. This free ed- But the small little thing I want to talk about, mm-hmm. for these people to know, men respect Men. Let's leave the women. You know, when we talk men is a general way. Mm-hmm. Even women are included, yes. unfortunately. So that we don't go into a long discussion. Mm-hmm. Let me use the word people so that I leave men out. Mm-hmm. People respect the people they respect. Mm-hmm. People respect tough people. It's, a, it's human nature. When you do things in defense, childish things, praising somebody, they only uh, tolerate you because you give them power. If you are are looking for votes, you maybe help them to maintain power. But inside them, in the psyche, they don't have, they don't have respect for you. People respect people even who oppose them. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. Ruto will have more respect for Ruto than for Raila than any other living Kenyan today. Mm-hmm. William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, inside him psychologically and every is part of his system mm-hmm. would respect Raila more than anybody else. Mm-hmm. Because he sees a man in him. Yeah, people respect people. If you are a man and you are in power, these men who kneel before you, you... You just tolerate them. Mm-hmm. That's, how, that's how men are wired. That's how human beings are wired. Mm. We are wired to respect people who have some element of toughness or manness or womanness, if you wish. Mm-hmm. We only tolerate sycophants around us because they, they, they may bring you power or something like that mm-hmm. or money if you are looking for money. Mm-hmm. But inside you, given a choice, you could kick them behind. That's a, that's a secret I want to share with these people. Mm-hmm. The things you are doing, you may think they are endearing into this. They are just tolerating. Okay. If they are told to choose somebody, let me tell you. I wish somebody tells Kimani Shunga. They are too big to watch these things these days. Mm-hmm. But their friends should tell them. They will not tell them because they won't go and tell them good things. Mm-hmm. So I hope they just fumble on this video. Ruto 
was to choose a man to lead Mount Kenya. And politics is not involved. It is just what it is from him. What he is, uh, he's not led by any other consideration like um, uh, expediency or or, 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 or you know, political considerations or worrying about the next election. Mm -hmm. If you remove all those things, mm -hmm. you just get inside him. Who does he think is a, ma a man in Mount Kenya? Mm -hmm. He'll just bring Uhuru Kenyatta there and Gashabwa. Okay. Why? Because those th th that's, how the, how, that's how human beings work. Mm -hmm. That's how human nature is. Mm -hmm. he, can't he can't bring these people on the table where, when he's asked to bring somebody. Mm -hmm. He can't. They, they, because they have removed themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm liking the way Ndini Nyoro is trying to play it now. Not keeping off these things and looking beyond the fray, beyond these simple things. He's now propelling himself. Mm -hmm. And I've said this even in the, mm -hmm. even before elections last year, 2020. You remember? Yes. He's, that, the way you play politics, the way Ndindi Nyoro is now playing. Mm -hmm. He's now building an image mm -hmm. of a really leader. Mm -hmm. A leader does not praise other men, ki ujinga ujinga. Mm -hmm. No! Mm. I, 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 you must show occasionally you have a stand. You must be able to even to differ with somebody. Mm -hmm. And that somebody respects you so long as you are not insulting them. Mm -hmm. So long as you are not being disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But you are showing you can have a stand on something. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I get you. This is a tip to the Kimani Shungwas. Please look for me and buy me a cup of tea. Now finally, Prof, as we wind up this issue, of course, uh, you've given that uh, sort of free advice to uh, Kimani Shungo, but I wonder why you're saying here that uh, uh, Ndindi Nyoro uh, is actually playing it right by somebody would say he's maybe sitting on the fence. No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. He has learned. <laughs> he has, uh, image is everything in the politics. Uh -huh. Image. Uh -huh. What Ndindi Nyoro is doing now is working on his image. Uh -huh. Kimani Shungo, on the other hand, is going down. Uh -huh. Do you me. know Moses Kuria, for example? Just uh -huh. before we... Moses Kuria is my friend. Uh -huh. Do you know if Moses Kuria had not cheapened himself? Sorry, Moses, mm. you know you are my friend. Mm. If he had not cheapened himself through the utterances, mm. even Kimani Matangi would not have beaten him for governorship. Mm. Yeah! Ki Moses Kuria has a bigger name in Kiambu than Kimani Matangi by far. Mm. But he cheapened himself through his utterances. Mm. And that's why it was difficult for people to close their eyes and see a governor in him. There's no way Kimani Chunga would have, Kimani Wamatangi would have beaten Moses. Even with the yellow wave in... in yeah, Wamatangi. there's no way. Mm. He would even have just taken the, the yellow shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no comparison with, there was no comparison between, these are my friends mm -hmm. and I know them. Mm -hmm. And I'm a resident of Kiambu, you know that. There is no way Kimani Wamatangi would have beaten Moses Kuria. Had it not been for Moses Kuria cheapening himself through the... So when people are looking for a leader, mm -hmm. it's difficult to imagine him as a leader. What Ndini Nyoro is doing is to shed away that image mm -hmm. and build a new image of a leader. On the other hand, Kimani Shungwa is going down that slippery slope mm -hmm. of spoiling his own name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Tell me this finally. Here we are. The deputy president uh, definitely has decided to maintain his stance of uniting the Mount Kenya, uh, mm -hmm. Mount Kenya region, and 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 then look at the kind of leaders who are actually surrounding him because you cannot tell me that he'll reach the people directly without the support of these people if you look at the individuals uh, the leaders who are actually against him right now they are more than those who are on his side how then do you think he's going to sail through and maneuver his way so that he at the end of the day he emerges victorious what do you mean by people you mean these politicians mps and the like yeah that's what that's what i mean <laughs> very good question you know <laughs> The son of Mao Mao, who happens also to be a man of God mm -hmm. and at the same time a truthful man, mm -hmm. has successfully answered your question. Mm -hmm. He has told you the ground. Okay. He's telling you the people mm -hmm. are with me. I don't care about those others. In fact, more than that, mm -hmm. the truthful man of God mm -hmm. has succeeded in betraying those people you are calling leaders as traitors. Mm -hmm. As traitors to the community. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they are of no consequence now. Mm -hmm. Unless they do something drastic mm -hmm. to salvage themselves, mm -hmm. they, are, they have seen the last of parliament, they will never go there again. Mm -hmm. 
they would never none of them will ever go do, 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 you, do you think do you think by just actually asking for forgiveness at that time is positioning himself in this manner so that the rest can be seen as traitors as he now portrays them and then he's seen as the son of uh, uh, the Mount Kenya who decided to come yeah. back home. He's and, played his game well so that he's telling the mountain, if we don't take care, mm -hmm. people will play around with us. Mm -hmm. And we are the Mau Mau people who brought independence. We are the people who fought. Mm -hmm. We are warriors. Okay. We shed blood. So all along, looking for Uru Kenyatta, apologizing, mm -hmm. telling his people, I was misled into saying all these things. Uh, that was a tactic for him to now actually seek forgiveness. There are many things he has done. That's just one of them. Okay. There are many things he has done to, just to ensure he endears himself to the mountain. And he's successfully done so. Okay. Yeah. So right now you can comfortably say that uh, the deputy president has the full support of the mountain. It, it, is, it is certain. Mm -hmm. it, he may need to, 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 to make it better. Okay. But even where it is now, mm -hmm. he speaks for Mount Kenya and without say, any shred of doubt. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And you say the influence and uh, the terms of whatever uh, the likes of Kimani Shungwa no, say are, are inconsequential, right? Those are inconsequential. They have lost it. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Prof. is saying that uh, Kimani Shungwa has lost it and the other faction that is perhaps against uh, uh, the deputy president. Well, our eyes are set and we are witnessing. We are on the ground looking at how these things are taking place and unfolding. And we'll actually bring you up to date with all this so that we tell you and we make you understand how the politics of this country actually run. Allow me to stop at this particular moment. Stay tuned for some of our programs that will be coming up next here. Till we have this conversation again. My name is Evans Okini. Have yourself a lovely day.